guys, today I seek your help because I need guidance. I am afraid. You see, I grew up in a different time when mommy and daddy taught me that morality comes from the church and Jesus tells you how to be a good person. But nowadays, we live in a more forward-thinking and progressive time. And morality comes from the United States of America, more specifically from Disney, which has decreed that if you do not like the color of the Little Mermaid, you're a racist. Because Ariel can be black. I mean, even though she's Danish, why can't mermaids be black? It's a good question, right? So... I thought that this is the correct answer, that Ariel can be any color, whatever she wants, whoever wants to draw her, any way it pleases, it's fine. But I have seen something on Twitter which shocked me to my core, to my very essence, my very being. Like the, the way I understand the world has now been destroyed. We have this artist by the name of Kamilu, which has received 37.3 million views for her picture. Now her picture isn't bad, but I wouldn't say it's worth 37.3 million views either. So I started investigating, like something must have happened here. The artist claims really loved this moment in the movie and wanted to draw a cartoon of Ariel in this image. Now it goes without saying that I do not wish you to contact any of these people. It is not about them, but it's about the principle and it's about my journey of understanding and improving myself as a better troll. Girl, why? See, it is a good question though. Like, why is your favorite moment in the movie, the one with color, like the entire movie is bleak and dark? Why is this particular moment the one you like the most? I respect both aerial canons. But I really want to see Ariel from my childhood in this moment. So I decided to draw this heart. But that moment belongs to the current Ariel. See, now I have a disconnect. Now I do not understand anymore. So there are two Ariels in this timeline. There is the past Ariel and there is the current Ariel. And they should not intersect. The timeline should not intersect. The past Ariel is not allowed to... Take the moments from the current area because now there are separate moments, you see, right? So, so the current area has moments and the past area has moments and they should not take from each other. Is this correct? But wait, like, is it the current area that takes a lot of moments from the past area? All right, right. So, so basically, the two areas are different classes of people. Like one is below, one is above. One is allowed to take from the other, the other one isn't. Is this what I'm understanding? Is, is this correct? Again, like I, I need to, I, I, I need to become a better person. I need to educate myself. Yet no one wants to educate me. It's, it's quite sad. But I'm hoping that you, chat can lecture me about how to think. Artists also draw Holly Bailey Ariel on the moments of the original cartoon. I don't think there is any hard division of what belongs to whom. It's strange. See, I, I also believe the same way that the artists believe. But apparently, we are going to learn that this is dangerous thinking. I think they just don't like black people. Okay, so Ariel now represents all black people? Is it because of the magic of the mouse? Ha huh. Like, can only the mouse create a character that represents all black people? Like, if I draw a character, can I also represent all black with, with my drawing? Or do I need to work at Disney? Is it the power of cash, though? Is it like if you're a multi-billion dollar corporation with privileges like a fiefdom in Florida, do, do you then get the ability to draw all, and, and represent all of a demographic? Does Mulan represent all of China or is it just Ariel? Man, like, how, how can I think? How can I think? I, I, I'm struggling to make sense of the world, but uh, the world is becoming more and more complicated. I don't think I'm becoming more and more dumber. It's just that Things are changing so fast. And it's all about the cartoon. Like everything is, is around the cartoon, but your entire life, your entire identity is dependent on it because if you do not have the correct opinions or heaven forbid you draw the wrong drawings, then you may be a racist and then you should get fired or kicked out of social media. I mean, real implications. When people do this, I just believe it's because they can't draw black people. See, now this is actually a reasonable take. 
Like maybe Kami Lu just cannot draw black people. Like maybe she's not that skilled of an artist. I mean, she definitely didn't draw the correct flounder. And as we can see, the flounder difference doesn't matter. Like for some reason, the previous flounder can take away from the moments of the current flounder, but just not with the mermaid. Like, like the half fish woman is the one that's important here. The the fish itself, probably not. I think like Sebastian and the, the, the butt uh, pigeon, like I, I think those don't matter. The only thing that matters is Ariel. Am I following this correctly? I think I am. When you loved everything about it apart from her being black. Oh yes, the 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 racial makeup is probably what why you would love a character, right? Like I love this character because it is a perfect mix of Eskimo and, and Ashkenazi and, and together they create like this beautiful character that Disney has presented to us. Is that see when I grew up, like with my backwards thinking, I would love an actor for the acting. But I guess now is the genetical makeup. Like, you go to an artist and you need to ask him, like, do you have the pedigree? Like, I need to see your family tree with the racial makeup of everyone so I can know how much I love you. This is the new way of thinking promoted by Walt Disney. Am I wrong? Look at it. This is my favorite one. See, like, I think that finally we have the explanation. So, <clears throat> the replies such as original Ariel or this is my Ariel are actually passive-aggressive. When the trailer first released, many racists used comments such as my Ariel to state that they were indeed not happy with the fact that Ariel was being played as a black woman. Your fan art can be taken in a different way, like a way meaning that you were also unhappy with the fact that Ariel was played as a black woman. So you decided to draw a replacer as the original Ariel in the comment and quotes, I'm seeing very uncomfortable black people talking about how disrespectful the comments are being, yet I don't see you saying anything about it. So I now understand, okay? When the Disney trailer was released, a conglomerate of racists on the internet channeled their evil racist energy that peered through the veils of time and dimension and got into our timeline so that now when an artist draws Ariel, it's because of those races at the time of the release of the trailer channel their energy and it seeps into the artist and it turns him into a racist. This is, oh my, this is mind blowing. Like, like no, like, like, like finally I understand. You know, it's like in 40K when all the shamans like did the ritual and, and their energy created the god emperor, it's pretty much what happens here, right? Like when, when the D Disney trailer was released, the Disney magic from the mouse haha, was corrupted by the racists of the internet and they challenged and they created the, the god empress, which is this artist that has managed to summon 37.3 million views on their picture, but this is not allowed because only Disney is allowed to do the race baiting shit and other corporations. All right, you as an independent artist, you're definitely not allowed to do that, according to the Bob on Twitter. But hey, you know, like, did I learn something? Uh, please let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.